guys, so I'm about to run out to the post office and just do a couple errands. I think I need to go ahead and just pick up some more ovulation tests because the one that I just took, which was one of the Amazon strips, it's just like oversaturated and I can't read it and it's just so annoying. Like I'll show you guys, but I definitely think I need to go just go pick up some like regular ones from the store because these just aren't working for me. Um, here. You guys see that? It's like so pink, so saturated. I can barely read it. Yesterday the ovulation test looked a little bit darker and today it looks a little bit lighter and so I just have no idea what's going on. Okay, so let's turn this down. Um, just got in the car and I am heading up to the post office now to send seatbelt does not work. There we go. To send out something uh, that I sold on Poshmark. Um, and I think I'm going to open a P.O. box. Like I said before, I'm going to look for some new OPK like sticks because obviously the ones that I use that I got from Amazon just suck. And it's just so frustrating because I feel like I'm going to ovulate soon and I want to know when I do, you know? Like that's important for um, TTC. Did not get my nails done. I almost did, but I'm going to wait. Um, I think I'm going to wait till like right before I go to Florida, which is in like a few weeks, just so they can be like fresh for Florida. And I'm definitely going to do the dip powder. So many of you guys commented on um, the last vlog where I was talking about getting my nails done and said that it's so worth it to do the dip powder. So I'm going to do it. So I just got back in the car from the post office. Um, so I didn't actually, I didn't actually set one up when I was in there. The guy gave me like the little application form and said that um, I need to have two uh, photo IDs. So like a driver's license and a passport or something. So I only had my driver's license with me. So I'm going to have to go home and get like my passport or something else. But he said that I can go ahead and do it online. So all the information is right here. So I think I'm going to do that tonight. Hopefully I'll have it by next week, you guys. I hope so, but it's expensive. Dude, it's like, he said it was like 60 something dollars, I think for six months. Like, that's so expensive. And then for a year it's 90, which, which is a better deal. I should just do the full year. Give this video a thumbs up if you think I'm the cheapest YouTuber. <laughs> just kidding. But you can give it a thumbs up if you want. Okay, <clears throat> so I just went and picked up Starbucks. I got a cold brew with a pump of vanilla and almond milk. I think that's what the guy put in there. I just said I wanted a cold brew, like a sweet cream cold brew, but I wanted it with almond milk and I wanted it less sweetened. And so he said he would just like whip me up something and it's actually really, really good. So I got that and then I went and got, um, I got a sandwich. I'm gonna try and eat this really quickly, um, but it's just like one of their like turkey stuffing cranberry sandwiches. They only have them out like I think during the winter time, like during the holiday season. It's really good though. Some people don't like when vloggers like eat and talk, but I personally don't mind it. And actually side note, I don't know if you guys watch Makeup by Tiffany D. She's like one of my favorite vloggers because I think she's so hilarious. I literally crack up when she's like just vlogging because she's just so funny. She like eats a lot of like Chick-fil-A and stuff like in the car and vlogs and it always makes me so hungry like I literally right after I watch it I'm like oh my god I need to go get Chick-fil-A like she always makes me so hungry but anyways um so I went into CVS to get some um ovulation tests well first I went to Giant which is my grocery store they had nothing they literally didn't have any they only had pregnancy tests so then I went over to CVS um, and they only had three different clear blue kinds. The lowest price they had on the clear blue was $45. I'm just, I can't, like, I know I'm trying to get pregnant, but I just can't, like, I can't pay $45 plus for ovulation tests. I just can't do it. So, um, I got the generic version, a CVS generic version of, um, clear blue, and they were already like 23 or 24 dollars and it was so hard for me to buy them but i was like whatever i can't use these strips i can't understand what they're saying so i got those hopefully i'll show you guys what they look like hopefully they'll do the trick i don't know Ugh. so they look like this it's just the cbs brand one step ovulation predictor 
um, and there's seven sticks. Uh, it says it's over 99% accurate, and it's the compare to clear blue easy ovulation test, so we'll see. I mean, I'm hoping they work just because I need something. Right now I'm using like my bendy tripod and I just have it like wrapped around my steering wheel. It looks so funny. Like if someone were to pull up next to me right now, they would totally think I'm a weirdo. <laughs> Can you eat your PB and J too? Uh oh. Mmm. So I got a package in the mail today from Ryla and I got two, the lighting in here is horrible, I got um, two new backpacks, I'm going to show them to you guys, I already showed them on my Instagram story but I figure I'll show them to you on here too because not everyone follows me on Instagram, uh, okay. I know Cam's going to want to play with these now that I got them out, so I got two new Ryla packs, which are diaper bag backpacks. They're like my absolute favorite diaper bag backpack. Like I love them. They're just really simple, chic, cute. Um, and they have everything you need. And I like that they're like smaller, so they're not too big. So I got the black one, which I'm obsessed with. I, like I love it. I know I'm gonna use this for um, my carry-on when we go to Florida for all of for all of Cam's stuff and like my stuff, but um, I think this one's so cute and I wanna find a really cute poof ball. I don't know what color yet, like I'm thinking gray. I think gray would look really cute on this. Maybe beige, I don't know, we'll see. And then here's the beach beige one. Um, they updated their backpack, so this one like has all the new updated like features on it. So I got a new one and I'm so excited to use this. I'll probably get this out like probably it's more summertime. Um, and then right now I have been using my gray one, which you guys have seen. I really hope that you guys who already have them love them as much as I do. And if you are in the market for a new diaper bag, you should definitely check them out. I'll leave their website down below, and I have a coupon code for 20% off. It's Liza20, which I'll leave down below too if you're interested. But um, you will not regret it. Like I'm telling you, when you receive this diaper bag, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. It is perfect. Oh, this isn't Snap. <laughs> he thinks it's the Instagram story where his mouth gets all funny. You think it's Instagram story? <laughs> yeah, it's not though. It's YouTube. It's <laughs> oh gosh, don't lick it. It's YouTube, honey. <laughs> you are so silly. You are so silly. Can you give Mama a kiss? <laughs> Can you give me a kiss on the cheek? Mwah. Mwah. But you give me a kiss. Mwah. No, you give me a kiss on the cheek. Mwah. I'm trying to get a thumbnail, honey. You give me a kiss. Mwah. Mwah. Now you give me a kiss. Mwah. No, you give me a kiss. Mwah. No, you give me a kiss. Mwah. Aww. Mwah. Okay. He loves like getting on the floor with me and getting on Instagram and like bobbing our heads. So y'all are always asking what I make Cam to eat. So I just wanted to show you. I just made him some potato gnocchi. Um, he loves this stuff. He, has, he actually hasn't had it in a while, but last time he had it, he loved it. 
and I just put some of this like regular Prego pasta sauce on there. I don't like that stuff, but Alex like loves it. <laughs> And Cam likes it too, so I just used some of that pasta sauce, and I put some of this nutritional yeast on there. Um, and I cut up some strawberries for him because he loves berries. And I'm going to probably cut up some avocado or try to find some kind of vegetable to give him on the side. That's not how we eat. <laughs> Camden. <laughs> Camden, we are not doggies. We're not doggies, sweetie. What? <laughs> Oh my goodness. We're not doggies. Why are we eating like doggies? Can you use a fork? Good job. Look, watch. There we go. Mmm. Gotta stab it. There we go. <gasps> huge chicken breasts, cooking them in some coconut oil, and I already um, cooked some red bell pepper in coconut oil, and I'm just about to add the bell pepper to this chicken, and then I'm going to use, dun da 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 Mr. Kooks. <laughs> Just let this simmer for like, I don't know, five minutes, ten minutes, whatever. It's so yummy. And I swear, you guys, I eat other things other than Indian food. I, I feel like I'm always cooking Indian food on my vlogs, but we seriously just love it. Like, these sauces are so good. So it's just like a staple in our house because it's so simple to make. And it's so yummy. I feel like I have a hair in my eye. It might just be my beautiful eyelashes. I think I'm just going to go ahead and end this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Bye!